Welcome to another edition of In the Spotlight with the Minnesota Magicians. I'm Jimmy Lilladal, Director of Media Relations and Broadcasting. Uh, the Magicians in action on Wednesday in Cloquet against the Minnesota Wilderness. A 3-1 victory for the club. Nick Kuchera starting the scoring actually with a penalty shot. The Magicians only had six shots in that first period. But Nick Kuchera getting a, a, a penalty shot goal and uh, a nice situation for Nick Kuchera. He went on a tear. He gets the next one in the second period assisting Will Johnson and rookie Matt Colford. Again, it was Kuchera's second goal of the evening. The Wilderness strike back with a goal from the Egan native Will Peterson. Eric Brank picks up the assist. 2-1 heading into the third. The Magicians add one more. It's the youngest member of the expansion, Will Johnson, getting his eighth goal of the season. Assisting was Nick Kuchera, his third point on the evening, and then Matt Colford picking up an assist. That's, that was Matt Colford's second uh, point on the evening. The Magicians pick up the 3-1 victory on the mid-game week in Cloquet. That was a Wednesday. On Friday, it was a game in Cooley Region, a tight 2-1 loss uh, for the Magicians. They come back uh, to home, uh, or they came back home on Saturday and played the Cooley region. A quick start for the Magicians. They didn't get the first goal. Richard Zainal did uh, for the Cooley region chill. His twin brother Andre Zainal gets the assist. Uh, the Magicians go on a tear at the end of the first period. Will Johnson getting his team leading ninth goal of the season on the power play. Just 14 seconds in on the power play. Will Johnson able to uh, get the puck across the goal line. Both the Kuchera brothers picking up assists on the Will Johnson goal. Then it was Cody Milligan. Milligan puts it in from tight quarters. E2 Carvin in the Finnish native picks up the assist and rounding out the scoring in the first period uh, Jordan Stasekal dangles to the front able to find the back of the net. Uh, a, a wonderful goal for Jordan Stasekal. Didn't really look like a defenseman jumping into the play but uh, some wonderful hands uh, for, for the blue liner as uh, Jordan Stasekal picks up his second goal of the season. Cooley Region gets two goals in the second period. One from Blake Kelly assisting Gordon Wells. That was 43 seconds into the period and then Mac Jansen the captain for the chill gets a goal assisting uh, the centennial product Adam Lovick. Third period, no scoring. It remained 3-3 three, three going into the overtime. Dunk Abbott, that's right, Dunk Abbott gets the assist coming in on the backhand and uh, beating Tolvin in, uh, getting the uh, chill to 4-3 victory in overtime. The Magicians do get a point out of the two-game set against the chill and three of possible six on the weekend. Welcome back to another edition of In the Spotlight with the Minnesota Magicians. I'm alongside Jordan Stasekal, assistant captain and veteran defenseman for the Minnesota Magicians. Uh, Jordan, just checking in with you here mid-season. Uh, talk about uh, the, 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 the win on Wednesday, a big win on Wednesday, midweek action and, and a 3-1 victory for the boys. Yeah, it was a huge win. Uh, we were in need of a win after a little bit up and down lately. Uh, uh, Wilderness are a team that are tops in the division right now so it was a big confidence booster and uh, uh, a win we got to keep uh, getting the rest of the season here. I hate to flip the script but things have been uh, tough as of late uh, losses kind of coming in bunches two against the chill this weekend mm -hmm. you're a veteran what do you tell them the rookies uh, the, the the majority of the club here uh, from your leadership role you know how do you bounce back from those two L's? Uh, it's a long season there's a lot of games and uh, there's gonna be ups and downs but uh, it's all about keeping, you know, a, a rhythm throughout the whole season and bringing it every single day. I saw you play in the in the league last year with the Brookings <coughs> Blizzard. Uh, you were one of their top defensemen. This year, you come here uh, via trade to the Minnesota Magicians. Uh, a sweep against your former club as of late. That was just a couple weekends ago. Talk about that. That yeah, felt great. Uh, you know, that's definitely a couple games that were circled on as soon as I got traded here. You know, I was excited to get get back and play my old coaches and my old teammates, and uh, it, it was huge just to be able to, you know get a couple wins over them and uh, have some fun with that so and I'm looking forward to <laughs> making it back to Brookings here next weekend. A uh, big uh, or a school visit yesterday, uh, Richfield uh, STEM school getting a visit from you, Matt Colford and Mario Bianchi. Talk a little bit about just giving back and uh, making a, an impact, you know, just 45 minutes, but an impact made on those young lives yesterday morning. Yeah, yeah, it's huge, you know, the people uh, in this community are the people that are going to be supporting this uh, organization and giving back and, you know, 
uh, being able to uh, have have fun with the kids and talk to them, and hopefully you can make a difference. It's huge. It feels good. Uh, this weekend, it's the Austin Bruins. Uh, just a Friday game. Uh, they're the top in the Central Division. They won the Central Division last year. You played against them 12 times last year because you remember the Brookings yeah. Blizzard. Uh, top shelf opponent coming here on Friday. Yeah, huge. It's a it's a big uh, step for our team. It's a good. Uh, Heading into break, it's a good good way to uh, finish off the first half of the season and a good test for us, and hopefully we can get two points. Jimmy Lilladal alongside Jordan Stasekal, assistant captain and rookie defenseman for the Minnesota Magicians. Talk a little bit about uh, uh, just being that go-to. Uh, I asked the guys a lot about leadership, but as of late, you've really upped your game. You scored an amazing goal this weekend. Uh, you showed some really good hands, jumping into the play, going to the net, and finishing uh, your second goal of the season. Just talk about your your style, or maybe the the flow of play for you here in your second year, because you've made an impact the last couple of weekends, and people start are starting to notice. Yeah, I like to just bring uh, uh, every weekend. You know, I like to just be a steady defenseman, someone that people can look to as a leader. Uh, you know, and just keep it simple, because that's what it is in this league. You got to keep it simple. And you got to make the high percentage play every every time. So uh, I just like to be a, a steady uh, defenseman. Jordan, thanks for taking the time. Thank you. Jordan Stasekal, defenseman, Minnesota Magicians. <coughs> thanks for joining us, folks. A big thanks to uh, Captain Jordan Stasekal for taking uh, the time to speak with us today. Uh, and some, some interesting things coming up here. The school visits have been rolling. We've uh, uh, visited the Richfield STEM uh, school a couple of times. The boys going out and uh, talking about our Lively Lifestyles program, an opportunity for, uh, uh, for some of the players to read to the kids. They talk a little bit about Lively Lifestyles, uh, healthy eating, that kind of thing, as well as anti-bullying. Uh, if you're interested in, in scheduling a school visit with the Minnesota Magicians Hockey Club, 612 861-9356. Uh, Christmas is coming up. The apparel, if you've noticed, uh, it's gotten a little bit, uh, a little bit wide uh, base, a wider of a base of uh, things you can buy. Uh, more and more apparel has been coming in. So uh, when you make it out to a game night, make sure you stop by the apparel desk and check out uh, what we have available. Uh, some interesting dates coming up. This Friday is the Teddy Toss. So uh, go ahead and buy a Teddy. Uh, bring it in here. We'll bag them up. When the magicians get their first goal, we'll toss them on the ice. And then the players are going to deliver them uh, to the Children's Hospital of Minnesota. So a nice deal there. Also coming up is Tropical Night on the 30th. Uh, going to be playing some tropical tunes. That'll be interesting. Uh, obviously, it's the middle of the winter, trying to liven it up a bit. The first 200 fans are going to get Hawaiian Lays. So uh, it's going to be an interesting deal there. Make sure you come out and support the boys on Tropical Night. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You can follow us on Twitter at MNMagiciansNAHL. You can also check out uh, our Instagram page as well. That's going to do it for In the Spotlight with the Minnesota Magicians. A big thanks to Jordan Stasekal. And that's going to do it. So long, everybody.